Whether you're a new mom, a seasoned parent, or someone that's just really curious about the journey after childbirth, we're going to bring you stories that talks about the beauty and strength that comes with childbearing. everyone and welcome back to another episode of Women Talk with me, your host Hezi Fala, your host for season four. So we're going to dive into a topic that's really close to my heart today and why is because I'm a mother myself. The topic is body image after giving birth and I'm joined by three amazing ladies with me. Some of them are my friends, some are new friends. We've got Hannah Halim. Hannah Halim, you are the co-founder and trainer of the Gentle Birth Project, mm -hmm. wellness printer and the mother of four. Correct. Yes. And then we've got Farah Nordin, co-founder of the Breastfeed Solution, mm -hmm. breastfeeding specialist, cognitive behaviour therapy coach, a mother of two, and a dear friend of mine, Dina Smokta, actress, entrepreneur, TV host, and a mother of four. <laughs> and you Hi. just recently gave birth as well, so you're yeah. the perfect candidate to talk about body image after giving birth. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. Oh my gosh, this is the first time I'm having three guests with me, so it's going to be quite the discussion. Mm -hmm. But before that, let's before we dive deeper into the topic, why don't we start with you, Hannah? Maybe you can explain to us, you know, what does what is the Gentle Birth Project? Right. So Gentle Birth Project is actually something that um, the three of us, my my friends, basically, mm -hmm. um, we came up with it. So uh, it's actually based in Chicago. So it started oh. as a childbirth education. Uh, project okay. where we want to educate women about their journey from pregnancy mm -hmm. to postpartum. So one of my partners is actually a Pilates um, teacher. Mm -hmm. She has over 2,000 uh, trained teachers around <coughs> the world. That's amazing. Yes, so she focuses on pre and postnatal Pilates, mm. uh, Matt, Cadillac, Reformer. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also joined by Julina Halim, you may know her, not my sister. I know. <laughs> but Just the same surname. Just same surname. Mm -hmm. She's a nutritionist based in Hong Kong. Yes. Um, and we do education on uh, what kind of nutrition will be good for pregnant women, for mm -hmm. postpartum women, for recovery and for uh, just the general well-being. And, um, and myself, yes. I teach our Malaysian pantang. I'm mm, very lovely. proud of it. Yes. And uh, we, together, the three of us, found the scientific evidence for the Malaysian pantang. Mm -hmm. And now we educate women internationally about our Malaysian pantang and how to recover healthily yes. uh, using our methods. Mm -hmm. So that's and I see a lot of people, a lot of women, you know, from other countries are now taking our confinement styles and adapting it into their confinement styles. Okay, well, what about you, Farnode? Maybe you can explain, you know, um, what are some of the ways that you think like the Breastfeed Solution is doing to improve media literacy on post-pregnancy bodies? For the Breastfeed Solution, mm -hmm. um, we try to empower through education for all the mothers okay. so that they don't feel, you know, after giving birth, they, they have some moms might have emotional issues mm -hmm. yeah like postpartum depression and all that so what we are trying to do we educate and we support so we always have classes uh, monthly yep. so that to help them and even we go to um, certain centers mm -hmm. just to educate uh, all the mothers so that they don't feel they don't feel small you know after yes. giving birth because you see the transition of like the past nine months you yes. know being um, on a especially different new body first time mothers right yeah, yeah. yeah especially first time <clears throat> mothers they tend to feel that after giving birth I don't look good anymore mm. yeah and then they, they have all this confidence issue and all that so we just want to tell them that it's okay yes take things one step at a time you know and it's a process yes. you know it's okay whatever you're feeling is actually valid you don't have yep. to feel small just because you look different now where were you 12 years ago <laughs> 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 but you're right, a lot of mothers after giving birth, they feel lonely because it can be a very lonely journey because mm -hmm. you're not, not only has your body changed, but your life has taken a turn, a big turn, like a 180 degree turn. Exactly. Yeah, so we're going to dive deeper into that. Yeah. Now, Dinas, you just recently gave birth. How many months ago? Four. Four months ago. Yeah. And you started being in the industry, entertainment industry, in the limelight since 1999. I would say. So you grew with the industry <laughs> when you were five. <laughs> when you were yes, five. Yes, yes. And you know, five. being someone that's in front of the camera, there are those, the, the, the challenges of having to get back into shape and everything. How did you deal with those? 
It's stressful. I mean, yeah. of course. Um, um, well, when when I got pregnant when I was younger, mm -hmm. it was very easy for me to get back into shape, especially yep. with breastfeeding. It helps so much. Yes. You know, because um, as you know, uh, each feed that we do, we lose about 200 to 500 so calories. Many calories. Yeah. Exactly. That's for one feed. Imagine mm -hmm. like if you were feeding your baby every one hour. Yeah. So that's why we're hungry all the time. So mm -hmm. it was okay for me to just munch away yeah. and, and, and you know get back my figure just like that but when was when, when I was much younger and that was in your 20s yeah, exactly. sorry I just got to bring your age but it was, yeah. it was so much easier exactly, then. exactly. but now now, mm. yeah of course it's, it's num my number one concern as well mm -hmm. and the fact that I'm still um, active in the industry so of course that's the first thing that I was I mean that's the first thing that I worry about yeah so but um, I'm Alhamdulillah still managed to breastfeed um, Olis, mm -hmm. um, so that helped me a lot with uh, losing my yes. weight but it's just that it's taking a bit more slower than before Yeah, and I can't start uh, working out yet like okay. as much as I want to yep. because I know I need to give my body a break and just concentrate on breastfeeding as well because yeah. I know for a fact that if you start working out as as heavy as before yes. you know you know how how often we mm -hmm. work out in a week right so it almost every day so it will probably affect my milk production as well so yeah. it's being easy in our bodies as yeah well. so i'm just concentrating on yeah. olis right now and my work you mm -hmm. know and pumping and trying to have more milk so yes. focusing on motherhood not yeah. how you look like while yeah. doing so what's doing important? motherhood what's, what's important? important thank yeah. you so much we're gonna go for a short break so we'll be right back don't go anywhere ladies and gentlemen Women Talk, for those of you who just tuned in, we're talking about body image after childbirth. So please grab your tea, grab your coffee, find a cosy spot because we're going to dive even deeper into this topic. So Farah, earlier when I introduced you, you were mentioning about what you do with mm -hmm. the Breastfeed Company. Mm -hmm. And you talk about how you ease, especially new mothers, yeah. into the world or joys of motherhood. Could you tell us the step by step of how you do it? Usually. Okay. okay. Normally, after a mom, mm -hmm. especially first time mothers, yeah, mm -hmm. when they first gave birth, uh, so they'll be going through a transition, you know, yeah. from <clears throat> the past nine months mm -hmm. up to after giving birth, which we call it the fourth trimester. Yes. Yeah. So there is body changes. And for your information, after three days, our body will tend to regulate back as though that um, the woman haven't even got married yet. So that's why there's like hey wires going on in alignment. Okay, I see. So that's where yeah. baby blues comes over, okay. postpartum depression. So what we do over here, mm -hmm. we we support them. We okay. we inform them, yeah, yes. and also we carry give them uh, carry their hands yep. through the journey. How breastfeeding works, mm -hmm. how emotional support is, yes. and how does the dad plays an important role. Yeah, and also the moms and the fam new family, especially that are really important, you know, yes. in this breastfeeding scene. The supportive partner role, the yeah. support system that you have around you. So, would you say like the common challenge would be mental health when it comes to these new mothers? Yes, yes, I would agree. And mm -hmm. in fact, the mental health has risen after post COVID. It used to be twenty three percent, but yeah. now it has risen to forty three percent. What do you think that is? Is it uh, because there's just more awareness? Is because um, during the COVID, mm -hmm. whereby everybody was at home, right? Yeah. So there's like no sources and there's like no support, you know, yeah. to, to get. And everybody was like contained in a space. So yeah. they don't really know what to do and get um, resources and information. Mm -hmm. So that has risen up <clears throat> the, the graphs. And the lack of human connection, I guess, that yes. contributes to that as Correct. well. Correct. And also because they're stuck and they do not know where to go, what to do next mm. and all that. And okay. this limits them. Yeah? I see. That is a oh. very high rise, I would say. Yeah. But with having people like you and Hana around, I hope those numbers will drop and that women will find ways to find more support. Mm -hmm. And earlier on, you were saying, like with your Gentle Birth Project, um, you also take the Malaysian or the Malay Pantang mm -hmm. ways and then you now adapt that and you teach the what we see Mak Saleh's girl or the, yeah. the foreigners. So when it comes to like different like cultures, you know, how do you deal with that? Um, when it comes to, I think women facing, women facing body image after childbearing, would you say it differs within the cultures or do all women across all cultures face the same thing? I wanted 
I mean, we we tend to generalize women. Yes. Yeah. Uh, as a whole, um, but we also forget that yes, cultures do play a different okay. a role in each different country. Yeah. Right. Um, Malaysians had it lucky. We have had uh, one of the lowest rate for postpartum depression for a while. Yes. Um, it has only gone up now because <clears throat> of the urban mm -hmm. uh, lifestyle that we have. Mm -hmm. But before this, yes. when we were in kampongs and all that, mm -hmm. the support system, the community support was very strong. Yes. Mothers didn't have to work. Mm -hmm. So they were at home mm -hmm. the whole time taking care of their Do not uh, expect to get back to life no, no, right after giving right. birth. They, they have more time to concentrate on recovering. Yes. Motherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Whereas here, mm -hmm. I mean, in, in the city, you have work. Yes. And I caught myself doing this <laughs> at home. Meaning, after what did you two, catch yourself doing? After two weeks, I was already on a Ana Halim. Mm. <laughs> me too. I mean, <laughs> me too. <It's, laughs> Some some women the day after you're already posting on social media. Right? Yeah, yeah. But I think for for us women in this time and day, especially now that we can work remotely, that that is easier. But back then, you know, women have to go back to the nine to five, right? And all that. And so the reason why I asked you that question because is it the same across all cultures? Because I look at women with you know in terms of body image, women the 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 Westerners, do they have the same challenges that we women in Asia face? Okay, what have you in noticed? terms of physical, mm -hmm. everybody faces the same thing. So okay. I, I do train in China and I do train in Korea, same things. If I pop up the list of what problems do you have mm -hmm. postpartum, we'll okay. all have the same che uh, checklist. Okay. Right. So even as you go, but when you go to the Western country where the, the community support is lacking, mm -hmm. meaning they're expected to come back to work, yes. then there's different issues. Mm -hmm. So, um, but in general, what the women share are yeah. almost more or less the same because they're focused more on the physical aspect. Everybody mm -hmm. tries to recover the physical part yes. um, of postpartum. And then, because of the awareness of the mental health yes. started to come in, yeah. mm -hmm. now we're addressing those issues a little bit more. Yes. And then we're touching on emotional health mm -hmm. also. So we are getting more help, to be honest. Like yes. This is how I'm feeling. It's like... I know it, it sounds like, oh, we're suddenly having all these new problems coming mm. up. Mm. It's, it's not, not new problems. It's, it's not new problems. Been around. They've already been there. It's never been addressed. It's never been addressed mm. and never been spoken about. Mm. Yes. Like the way we're talking about it now. Like nobody talks about mental health before. Yes. Or postpartum depression openly. But the, yeah. Okay, so Dinas, we talk about mental health and for someone, you know what, for us, it doesn't help being in the limelight, being in front of the camera, especially with those Hollywood mothers. Back then, right after giving birth with their trainers and their nutritionists, suddenly they bounce back to their 20-something-year-old body. Mm -hmm. How did you face that? Did you ever have that? Has there ever been a period where you had that mental health challenge? Of course. Yeah, of course. you speak about that. Would yeah, you because, that? Um, well, we cannot compare ourselves with Hollywood. It's Hollywood. I know, I and mean, they have all the... Come on. How can you compare Malaysian celebrity to Hollywood? No need. Don't waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> Everything they have, like even their own chef to cook for them health, exactly. healthy food every day. So, you know. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's not helping when we're like, right after giving birth, we're looking at in our Instagram or social media. And then we'll be like, oh my God, look at their life, you know. And the we, impact we, of social media. We mm -hmm. compare um, without even realising we're already comparing our body or our, our life with mm -hmm. theirs. We which is crazy. Yes. But, you know, humans, humans. of course we want it all, right? Yeah. <laughs> and we, we, we will try to get it as much as we, we can. Mm -hmm. So, but I think the way I pantang really helped. A lot, lah, like what you said. Speaking because to the... in Malaysia, it's very, uh, it's very important for us to finish our pantang for 44 yes. days. Or even for, for Chinese, uh, it's like 28 days. 28 days. Uh, okay. Okay. So, there's a reason why. I mean, a lot of people say, Alah, Mak Saleh okay je. You know? For the, but for the even Mak the Mak Salehs oh, now okay. are recognising that it's exactly. not helpful for them to just bounce back. Because you know what? Our bodies take time. Yeah. They need time to recover. We also need time to recover. Yeah. We're going to go for a little break. We'll be right back after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Women Talk and we're diving deeper into the topic today which is body image after childbirth. Now, 
Dinas, mm. you've given birth four different times and in different age brackets, I would say. Mm. What is the most common challenge when it comes to you being in the limelight and having given birth four times? What people think of you. Like I mean, their comments, their their negative we're talking comments. talking about social media here, Social right? media or oh, anything gosh. at all. Even people, yeah. will, uh, people that you meet at the mall, you know, mm -hmm. um, randomly, yes. they would just comment like things about your your body. Your body. Yeah. And this morning, I actually woke up uh, this morning getting a really, really silly question. Okay. I oh. posted a picture yesterday when yeah. I was at the set. Okay. I'm still shooting at the moment and I was wearing mm -hmm. something big. And mm -hmm. this guy have the nerve to DM me on my social media and say, Oh, Ka, are you pregnant again? Congratulations. DM. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> So Very congratulations, are you pregnant again? And I'm like, oh, I just, I didn't, I didn't know how to react. So I just screen captured and posted it again. I said, dude, my baby's four months old. Yes, I barely don't, just gave birth. Please don't pray for me to, pre to get pregnant again. <laughs> Give me a break. <laughs> At the age of 40. <laughs> I know. And you know, yeah. that, 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 that brings me to the society exactly. or the societal pressure. A lot of people out there are the ones, they were the, you guys, the no, not, not you guys, but the society are the ones that puts that pressure on exactly. us women. Exactly. And there's another comment also from another, another woman. Uh, and okay. I'm like, dude, you're a woman too. How can you ask me that question? Yeah. Yeah, so I feel like, oh, and she's she's a person that's got kids too, you know. Mm. Then she should be someone that I understands. I know, so I'm like, why? Why are you asking me that question? And mm -hmm. it made me feel so bad. Like, the yeah. whole day, I'm just not myself. You know, I'm just thinking, yes. when am I going to get back my old figure? And then, you yes. know, am I, am I that big? And someone now I'm shooting for a series, you know, I'm sure I'll look bigger on, on, on screen right now. As I you think can see. you look I th incredible, Dinas. Oh. I think you look amazing. Thank you. And um, I think this the key takeaway is that what we want the society to understand is that, you know, it takes time for women to get back into shape. It and takes time for us to ease into motherhood. It's It's... Even though it's your fourth pregnancy, yeah. it's still a new baby. It's yeah. still a different baby with different needs, different wants, and not on top of that, three other kids that you still have to manage. Yeah. And you know, your focus is that, yeah. motherhood, yeah. you know? So, okay, let's go to each and every one of you. What is the positive <laughs> message that you want to send out to women out there or um, women who are new into parenting? Let's start with you, Hannah. All right. My main message is be gentle. And practice the three S. In my opinion, What's the three, three S? S is self um, self love, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. self compassion, mm -hmm. and definitely get the support that you can. Self love, mm. self compassion, support, and mm. the support. Yes, because yes. these the moment I see that you have all these three, I find that women who have these. The support that they have, the the, the mm -hmm. awareness of their own body, and the self compassion that means forgiving themselves for yes. any weaknesses or challenges that they're facing, mm -hmm. they have it better in terms of mental health, yeah. and they recover better. Yes. Yeah. So um, that's the three S for me. Just be gentle with yourself. I like that. Be gentle be with gentle yourself. Be gentle with yourself, Dinas Mokta. Yes, Dinas. <laughs> be gentle with yourself. Forgive yourself. <sighs> a break. <clears throat> <laughs> Give yourself a break. And mm. I think you're doing incredibly well. Mm. I mean, Rezeki tak. Mm. Rezeki murah sangat. Mm. Masih shooting. Mm -hmm. Okay, Farah, any mm. positive mm. message that you want to send out for to mothers like, um, or new mothers out there? Yeah, so for moms, try to communicate with empathy. Have okay. more love. Yeah, Acceptance. Accept mm -hmm. ourselves as who we are. You know? Yes. Liberate the woman in you. Yeah. The mother in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I love that. Put the yeah. woman in you, the mother in you. Yeah. Dinas, last but not least. Don't ask people if they're pregnant or not. <laughs> yeah. You might be wrong. 50% wrong, 50% right. And you never know what's going on on that person's life, actually. Maybe mm -hmm. she just lost a baby, you know, for all you know. And then you're asking yes. them, are you pregnant? Let see. You, you have to think about um, the question before asking that person. Yes. You know, you might... Um, you might hurt a spot that could yes. not recover yeah. fast. It you may know? seem so, menial, but you know what? You're going through so much right exactly. now. Exactly. So it's like for me, mm. just, just be kind. Just yes. be kind to one another. You know, yeah. if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Just smile or yeah. give a exactly. hug. Yeah. Be kind to one a another. Fish, a fist bump. <laughs> a fist bump. And I think, you know what? Let's, let's just take ourselves away from just judging by the bodies. Let's yeah. look yeah. at the wellness. How are you doing? Yeah, How's exactly. your mental health? Exactly. Instead of like, hey, your body is this yeah. and that. Let's not be 
let's not let that be the focus. Yeah, I think. That's true. Yeah. Thank you so much, ladies, for all your sharing. I feel like we didn't have enough time today. No, we don't. But that means yeah. we had an exciting discussion. Thank you for being with us, and thank you to our lovely guests for tuning in until the very end. Please give a shout out on our social media, Women Talk TV3, or if you have any ideas on topics we should discuss about, just leave us a message on our Women Talk TV3 Instagram page. See you guys next week.